Hello YouTube, this is Prash from ProSD Gaming. Today I'll be showing you a very quick tutorial on how to create a custom, customized uh, lower thirds uh, or for call to action in PowerDirector 14 Ultimate. And this exercise is very easy, but uh, these uh, lower thirds are yet simple but very powerful tool to do a call of action uh, or any uh, particular text. So, in a tutorial, you want to highlight something. Uh, and these are uh, done in order actor and you can use it all the time especially you can change the text now I know you can uh, do very uh, attractive and effective and more flashy uh, lower thirds in, in after effects but those after effects uh, you have to uh, you cannot change it I mean it, if you are gonna work with uh, power director uh, you cannot edit those after effect files you have to render that particular video in MOV and use it as a fix uh, lower third uh, which is more of a constant call to action but here uh, the one I'm going to show you lower third in, in uh, power director 14 will be flexible and you can always change the text the way you want I personally use it uh, while I make uh, video tutorials especially when you, if you have seen my hitman videos I, I do call to ta call to action with those uh, lower thirds where particular uh, challenge or some uh, collect collectible we need to do I just highlight it uh, for a more uh, guided approach in my uh, walkthroughs and tutorials. So uh, to start with you need to open Power Director, of course the full featured version and then you have to go to title room and then you have to click on uh, create a new title template. We are going to choose 2D, light, 2D, ti 2D title and once the 2D title opens uh, we're gonna ignore this for a while. We need to add an image. So you have to choose this particular icon, which is third from the left, and we're gonna be choosing a PNG file, which is more of a, a base and a cover, a background for your callout uh, callout bar mainly. So for me, it's this bar, which I'm gonna resize it. Yeah, like this and this one is a png image which i have created in uh, photoshop so i'll be leaving you a template for this particular png it looks like this as you can see and uh, you can work here on your own shapes just like i have given this angular look here you can do your own shape and style the way you want my as you know my challenge brand colors are black and uh, golden so i have created such a way only problem is that I cannot control the effect of this particular image. Let's the way if you see here, it's only one effect. As if you go to options like effect and motion, it's not available because of this is the image and it's only one effect we can see. But you can always add a tax over it, which is the reason why we are creating this uh, uh, custom title uh, lower third. Now you have to all you have to do is insert tax and we'll be typing here and we're gonna be resizing it. You can use keyboard for more precision. I will just change the font something better. I will just add a black border so just increase the size of the border yep so this is now created only thing that we have to sync the effect of text as well it shouldn't appear before the background now we can preview the same now since I haven't applied any in effect uh, and out effects to tax it is just disappearing like you can uh, resize it but you have to make sure that it falls under our background otherwise it will not look uh, professional and uh, you need to make sure that uh, you adjust your text size accordingly uh, to move your text more precisely you can always use keyboards arrow keys they are more precise and now the challenge is to do a, do a proper text effect in and out in and out effect 
it is beginning and ending effect to this text as we we're going to adjust from here and uh, it has to be between uh, the effect of our background so as you can see these two bars here this is our main png image which we uh, set as a background this golden and uh, black color strip and this second time in the timeline second one is the text so text should always fall between these two bars as you can see here the main effect of the png image the background and text will be falling uh, in, inside that particular area so now we have got our text we're going to apply some effects we go to effects and we're going to go to starting effects and i'm going to apply a double vision horizontal that's the way i like and i'm going to ending effect and i'm going to choose double vision vertical so let's see how it works out we're going to preview the entire clip it looks okay you can still tweak around and make it more professional or the way you want the speed of it and how fast it appears it's all depend on depend how you you make it so we'll try to lower the speed here as you can see when i drag this particular arrow here the speed of the effect is a little bit slow now which looks more pleasant same way we're gonna adjust the ending effect so it is matches with our beginning effect the speed of text disappearance so let's preview it again now it looks better perfect so you can save this particular effect as a as a in titan room as a custom one and uh, you can always just bring it to your videos and uh, change this particular text area the way you want so this is really helpful and uh, it saves a lot of time in uh, making call to actions call to action here and there so uh, i highly suggest going through this approach and uh, if you really want to give a more professional uh, lower thirds you need to get a after effects template but that would be a fixed version of the lower third so let's save this save as we're going to name it uh, the way you want and it's saved now you're gonna close this and as you can see it is appearing here and just for a demo I'll just import any background image you're gonna import here we're gonna bring this down and as you can see I have applied the uh, effect here and it's working fine now I can change the text and I'll show you I just have to once you drag in the look place where you want in the timeline you just have to double click it and change the font and text you wish so this is text is going outside so I just have to adjust fonts a little bit you can just drag it like this and I'm gonna adjust it properly now just save it and you're done perfect in the very much less efforts and uh, in very much less time you can create fantastic lower thirds with uh, as I told you you can apply your own text effects here the only catch would be that uh, you cannot apply custom effect to the background the png image which imported as an image so that's it guys and uh, i i hope i helped you here and i'm sure you'll uh, get more of a uh, productivity out of this particular tool other than importing uh, lower thirds from other uh, softwares like after effects which are not bad but if you want to customize it and you want something within power director this is the best approach to accomplish it Please share this video with your friends on social media and uh, it will really help me and uh, I'll see you in my next tutorial for, for Power Director. I'll be soon upgrading to Power Director 15 and if you want any tutorial from my end, uh, especially producing gaming videos for any video, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much guys. Thank you.